Hey everyone, Kevin here. Now, the video I did earlier today was called Tech Cleanup. Tech Cleanup. And basically what I was doing was trying to get rid of a lot of the electronics and tech and all the, all the related items I had. They've just kind of accumulated over the last couple of years. And it was one of those things I kept saying, right, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then today was later. So I went to CX and I, um, you know, I sold a lot of things. Some things I didn't sell and I'm putting them on eBay. And some other things, they're just pointless. I'll just give them to people or have to throw them out. But the interesting thing was that in the video, I just kind of mentioned that I had an Asus laptop. And one of the people who commented today was asking about that. And the funny thing was, my friend Barry asked about that as well. Now, my friend Barry uh, is going to Africa. Um, his girlfriend's African. So whenever he gets over, he always takes things with him. He takes football shirts, he takes other things. And he takes things over to the villagers there because, um, well, I mean, I, I think in the Western world, a lot of things that we throw out, you know, because, you know, we just go and buy something else, they will keep and they'll use it. So when I said about the laptop, he said, he said, well, how much would you want for that? So I said, I didn't want any money. You know, me, me and Barry are good friends. So I'm going to give the laptop to Barry and he's going to take it to Africa. So good end to the story. But what I thought I'd do is do a video. Uh, about that laptop. Uh, a final farewell to a laptop that served me well. Best way to put it. So, um, for those who don't, who didn't watch the video earlier, then, oh, that's the wrong camera. <laughs> I got a wee ahead of myself there. Um, this is a laptop that I am um, giving to my friend Barry. It's the Aces G1S. It was a gaming laptop. At the time, it got fairly good reviews, like 4 out of 5, normally 3 out of 5. Um, it was a good laptop. So the reason I bought that was, I got that just when I came back from traveling. I was away for a year. I was in Asia for a few months. Then I was in Australia for a month or two. Then I was in New Zealand for five or six months. Then I was in Japan. Then I was in Germany. And then I was home. And when I came back, my desktop computer that I gave to my mum and dad to use I had a lot of problems. The graphics card failed and the motherboard failed and then everything else failed. So when I came back, I thought, I can't be bothered with this. I want a laptop. I want something that's in warranty. And if it breaks, I can get it returned and get it fixed. I'm sick of fixing computers. And that's why I got this. Yes, I do still have the original box. So hopefully, if I bring this back, you'll be able to see it. So I still got the original box. And I, I don't know where it is. I've probably still got the original CDs somewhere. So this is it, and as you can see by the, the funky green colours and the, the little logo, etc. This was a gaming laptop. It even had flashing lights at the side of the laptop. I'm not even joking. Flashing lights. Um, so, where is it? Okay. Side there. Specifications. Um, I'll try and get it in the camera so that you can see it and I can see it. So, there. So it was a Core T7500 CPU, dual core or dual, dual core as they call it, 15.4 inch WS, I'm not even reading that because I'm reading this from the camera, WS XGA plus GL, uh, DDR2 RAM, there was two one gigabyte sticks, 160 gigabyte hard drive, and there was a DVD drive in there, and it was connection up to N, all right, 802.1 AGN, I didn't know that. So, I've got it charging. Oof, I tell you one thing, it is heavy. It is heavy. <laughs> it is super heavy. This thing. I mean, just compared to modern laptops, this was, in fact, how much is it? Let's let's see what it was. I'll I'll search for what it was. Um, weight. Okay. According to notebook check, and I've got no reason to doubt them. This thing is three point two kilograms. It is heavy. Um, you know, the laptop that I've got just sitting there is a 15-inch one and it, and it feels like double the weight. I don't know if it is. But um, it's quite interesting going back, I think, going back to an older laptop. You know, this is 10 years old. I bought it 10 years ago. Paid about 13... God, it might have been like 1,500. Um, one of the reasons I went for a gaming laptop was I was playing a lot of Counter-Strike Source at the time, so um, I wanted something that could run that quite well. So that's one reason why I got that. So let's run through 
what we've got here right at the side so you've got the dvd drive here you've got your flashing lights sorry i'm hitting the microphone there you've got the flashing light there you've got the dvd drive now at the back this is where you can tell this you know see back in the day there wasn't one usb type c port you got a lot of ports so i've got if i can read this through the camera in fact i'm not getting that know what to do i'm going to move go to the, my overhead camera we'll make this a little bit simpler that makes more sense doesn't it let's do that okay oh you don't want to be seeing that i don't know why but my camera just went all funny there right right that's a little bit better sorry for the cock shot there guys right um this is okay right so this is a laptop and i'll spin it around if i can so as i said dvd that side sorry for the camera it's moving about i don't actually usually use that one so we've got the power there vga um, what have we got there? We've got HDMI, we've got, what is that? Is that eSATA? We've got eSATA there. Is that, is that coming into focus? Yep. Yeah. Um, we've got four USB, and the USB are all at the back, which, I get, for some things it was okay, but other times it, it would have been better to have something um, at the side, as normal. So, I'm going to get this even further up. It looks like two Ethernet ports. One's like a networking thing, one's like Ethernet, I think. I don't know the difference. Um, looks like a mouse port. And then you've got, what is this? One's a mic, one's a headphone. I don't know what the additional port is there, if I'm honest. It's been a while um, since I've used them. I don't know what that port is, but there is. So you've got all those ports there. You've got the, um, I don't know what that port is i.e. I'm reading this upside down i.e. 9.4 uh, I never used it I've got an express card slot there and there's an SD card SD card slot there so it is a big it is a big uh, laptop for the size so let's see if I can do this a little bit better can I spin this around a little bit in fact, what I'll do, maybe just do that. That could be a little bit better. Sorry, guys. This is a nightmare. Right. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Right. This could be, this will hopefully work now. I think if I zoomed in, right. There we go. Right. That's a little bit better than overhead camera. Right. A little bit better. Right. So, I'll just take you through the the, the laptop i'm going to switch on um this this camera doesn't seem to be sitting well with my overhead camera here well my road psa one it's really for for microphones i should really look at a different solution um right so you can see here the webcam 1.3 megapixels now that doesn't sound like a lot today but back in the day that was actually quite a lot 1.3 megapixels was quite a lot at the time not saying it was groundbreaking, but it was definitely top of the line. Um, gaming keyboard, as you can see. So, like, the actual laptop, it was fairly well made. It still is. It still actually feels really well made. Even compared to, you know, this is my main laptop, which... I forget that over there. Now, this is... <laughs> this is... I don't know why I decided to clean that there. This is thinner. This one's thinner and sexier. Well, I don't know if it is sexier. Sexier than Vista. I don't know if that's possible. Um, so yeah, but I would say that I would say that this laptop, ten years old, but it actually it does kind of stand up well. You know, it's it's well made. It isn't it isn't cheap. It is big. It is bulky. It is heavy, but it doesn't feel cheap. And fair play, to Asus. This is ten years old, and it still kind of loads up well fairly quickly. I would say. Not saying it's the quickest thing ever. So it's got um, four gigabyte of RAM in it now because of the thirty-two bit limitation. I think there's only three point two gigabytes that's actually available. So the keys um, is different from the kind of chocolate style keys that you get nowadays. You've got the um, 
It's just kind of a regular keyboard. Feels okay though. Colors here. Now the green lights can flash and up here you can you can actually display your own message. You can display email notifications and things and you can see there's like like an index, there's like hot key buttons up here as well. So what I'll try and do, <laughs> it has been a long time since I've used Vista. Um, let's see if I can see. We'll see what it says for uh, specifications, etc. Look at that. Look at that. Counter Strike Source. What a game. So. Okay, take that back. It is slow. But that could be. There's a very high chance. I mean, if you look at all the different apps on that I've got on this. Actually, I gave this alone to my parents or my brother at one point as well. So there's been a few people that have used it. And. Oh god, the battery's still. It's still charging, but. It's amazing that the battery isn't completely dead. That there, the direct console, that's actually, I know I'm doing a few things at once here, but basically this direct console here, this is where you load it up and you get like the Asus, um, you know, it, it gives you like the Asus, like you can control the lights, you can put your own message, you could say Kevin is the best there, if you're so inclined, um, and you can, can change what the buttons in that do, so that's what you do through the Asus uh, control panel. So... What I need to do, right, should be under system, right, um, right, so there, there we've got it there, it's an Intel Core 2 Duo, is that going in, yep, T7500, 2.2 hertz, 3 gigabyte of RAM, wow, it's actually about 3.2 because I've got 4 gigabyte and I think, I think, it could just be 3 gig, but I think it's 4, um, I think that's it's really it's really slowing down. I think it's because I've loaded up a few things. Yeah, so Ace's direct flash should be the lights. So let's see, should they go back on? And there was the messenger thing as well, direct messenger. That was a different thing. No, the, the lights aren't on. The lights aren't on. You can see there's more hotkey buttons down here as well. So it's flashing like internet, email, light bulb, whatever that is. And you've got your play and pause, and you've got a power button there as well. Stay clear. Ten years old, though, I, you know, it, it has kind of held up well. I am, I, I do need to clear it though, because it's, you know, if I'm giving it to someone, clear all the personal data, but also to clean up. I think I should cl uh, clear it and then connect, um, and then I'll do an update to make sure that it's all okay. So I'll, I'll just, I'll close this down because I don't, in fact. Yeah, I'll close it down for a second. I don't need it open just now. But this this was, in fact, could it, would I still be logged in? Oh, I'm not connected to the internet. I was going to try Counter Strike Source to show you. Um, I'll just turn off. So there you go, guys. That that's it. That's the Asus G1S. And if I, oh. This is totally unprofessional. I've went, I've went, I've went renegade here. Um, there's the back of it, and it's look how bumpy and all that is. But I quite like the fact that look, change your RAM there, change your hard drive there. I believe. Um, it's just easier to fix things. Take your battery out there. Easy to fix. Easy to fix. That's what it's all about. So there we go. Sorry. This is what happened. This is because my overhead camera um, was swinging about, and now I have my keyboard lying off. Um, it's a nightmare. So, guys, that I just thought I'd, I'd, I thought I'd give you all a wee look at that because it was a cool laptop. I got a lot of years of use out of it. Um, but basically, it was about two years or so later where I bought my iMac, which is in the background, and there's actually an iMac box because I'm going to sell that as well. Um, when I got the iMac, I kind of I started using this a little bit less because, well, the iMac was bigger and better. But th I used that as my kind of second laptop, and I used to have both of them operating at the same time. I'd be sitting working on the Mac and then sitting working on the Windows. You know, not being a fanboy of any party, I was I wasn't I was I wasn't picking sides. But um, yeah, 
it was a it was a good laptop. Now that's the thing. I don't care. You know, give it to my friend for nothing. You know, I, I got a lot of use out of the laptop. It was very well made. Uh, and I must admit, I have had a couple of Asus products over the years, and I've had. I'm trying to think what else. I had a, another small laptop as well, but just the fact that that still works and it still works fairly well for an older laptop and I'm going to clear it and put on an update and you know update it to the latest version of Vista or whatever the latest one was uh, and it's just it shows you the build quality you know I did pay a lot of money for it at the time but shows you that you know 10 years later it's still working and it's still working well you know um, sometimes it is worth paying that a little bit more for you know something like a laptop or that to get better quality so guys, thanks for watching. I know this was a bit of a strange video. Uh, most technology uh, channels focus on brand new laptops, brand new technology. Mine's does as well. But that is good sometimes looking back uh, and looking at the tech that you used, etc. And if you want to go out and buy something like that, like see when you look on eBay, there are so, there's so many bargains out there. You know, if you want to buy something secondhand, something that's just, just a few years old. Like my old Lenovo XT, X220, I got that for like 500 or so, and when it was new, it was 1300 and you can now pick that up for like £100 or less, and I still use it at night time, I'll use it like sitting on the couch, you know, sending emails or doing some work. So, yeah, it is good to go out and get a new laptop and that, but there are, there are bargains out there. So, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I've also bought a gaming laptop in the past, and I hope you've enjoyed this little trip down technology memory lane. Take care, guys. Speak to you all soon. Cheers.